Hey folks, your OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of this humidifier that also is Nightlight. So in general, these humidifiers add a bit of mist into a room so they uh, can make you know, the air quality improve as well as uh, you know, not make it overly dry depending on where you live. And they're not overly exciting. We've seen this design a few times before, but you know, can be helpful uh, depending on your environment. But what makes this one kind of interesting is it also combines a LED light, which makes it also a desk lamp or a night light for mood lighting, which can make it a lot more useful perhaps for college students or people really tight on their desk space and need something all in one. It really reminds me of the Google Home as far as the overall shape and size is concerned, but uh, overall of course it's not nearly as intelligent, but still is an interesting piece of kit that we're going to take a closer look at. There's a fan on the bottom that prevents it from overheating and also kind of spins to eject the mist on the top. You can of course add some essential oils in here as well just to make it scented. Pretty interesting stuff. And uh, otherwise it retails for under 30 bucks on Amazon, so not too expensive either. Here is the bundled AC cable which you plug into the base and there's a bit of a design here which allows you to tighten up the cable on the side so it doesn't fall loose and also stays out of your way for the next time that you're using it. Otherwise in the front there's just two keys, one for starting the light, one for the mist. You can control the light brightness but as far as the light is concerned, other than white light, there's no other colors. So you can't actually make it red or pink or set it with a phone. So it's not nearly as fancy as that. Um, so this is why the price point for this specific version is a lot lower. On the inside, there's a bit of a cone that I can remove. And in here is where I pop in the water. So you can put purified water up to this line. You can see on the outside there. And it also comes with this measuring cup, which you can use to get a glimpse of how much water that you want to use. For our purposes, we're just going to put a little bit, and that should last us for you know about two hours or so. So, pretty efficient stuff, and it does work. It does propel the the mist around. One limitation, though, for these relatively low cost and smaller humidifiers is that it doesn't tend to do as good of a job as dispensing the mist evenly around larger spaces. So you kind of have to do that yourself by waving your hands around or set it to a specific space that you're working at to get the full effect. But for larger rooms, it's not gonna do as well as a more expensive model on the market. So let's make sure everything is aligned. Plugging things in, I can start with the light, which again is multicolored. So the first mode just goes through uh, various colors very slowly and it's a very gentle glow, which is you know pretty unique and uh, cast a nice backlight when you are maybe sleeping in the dark. Um, otherwise, there's a slight mono beep speaker in here that tells you a bit more audibly if you clicked on a specific key. You can also set a timer on here for the mist to you know, jet in the air for a few hours and then shut off automatically. So there are a few smart features on here, despite not having the ability to connect to a Bluetooth you know, phone as an app, but you know, a few features can be found. Next, I can go through each of the individual colors one by one. until it goes off. And obviously the yellowish or the slightly whitish tone might be the best if you're doing work or doing a bit of night reading, but the other ones can add a pretty vibrant color into your room. So next let's take a look at the mist. There's a bit of background sound to this, so it's not completely silent, but good enough. So there's a light that will turn on, it's green, and indeed there's a mist that's starting to come out. It's very fine mist, and let's try to capture this a bit evenly, but it propels itself into the air and then starts to dissipate a little bit more. But a pretty fine stream starts to fall down a little bit more, but this is the effect that it produces. Definitely cool, and it's not super condensed water either, so it's not going to damage any electronics, any furniture. It just makes things a bit more you know, humid in the air so that you can breathe a little bit better, and it's cool temperature. So it's also gonna be good in the summertime, for instance. Stops for a few seconds to prevent overheating and then continues once again. When you're done, you know, there's other modes that you can play around with in terms of setting up the stream, continuous, non-continuous, non timer mode, until finally off. So again, it works very well, and it's a very clever Instead of jamming it full with the latest technology like Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and really raising the price, they stuck with stuff that has already been done, but they just combined it in this all-in-one form factor and cut the price to a very low cost that a lot of people will appreciate. You can check out more details about this in our official written review, but for now this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.